Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ryan Quintel here today with another Vector Tuts Plus video quick tip. Today, we're going to be making a iOS book style icon in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump in and get started. This is a technique I was playing with pretty recently. It's real easy to do and I think it's pretty fun. Um, tell me what you think. We're going to go make a new document. You can make it any size you want. I'm just going to make it square, 10 by 10 inches, and call it Book Icon. Let's start off by making a rectangle. So grab your rectangle tool and just click once right in the canvas, and here we're going to make a 7 by 7. So this is inches in my document. It can be whatever you want in yours. And then I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to get Command C and Command F, which makes a second one. I'm going to drag it up until I get a good piece of the bottom like that. This is going to be a, a stylized book. It's not going to be exactly in perspective, but it'll be close. Now, we are going to round both of these. Now, we're going to... Now, we need just one more rectangle. So, take our bottom one here, Command-C and Command-F. And then we'll drag it down so it's just the bottom half and then we'll hold down option and drag out the sides here so we get some padding there and we'll drag up the bottom so we get some padding there so you can see the style this makes it's kind of one two and three and I'll color them so you can see we'll have a blue rectangle this big pink one and then this yellow one and now we want to round each of these so select one rectangle and go to effect stylize and round the corners one inch is a little aggressive so let's try 0.5 inches ah, that's a little not enough so you know what 0.9 I know it's a ridiculous number but uh, I'm sticking to it same thing, select your blue rectangle effect and just apply, you don't need to pick it again, right? And with our yellow, same thing, go to effect and apply. And you can see this kind of creates a, an unusual sort of pill shape here. You can notice now these kind of duck in from side to side. Well, there's a way we're going to fix that, so don't worry about it now. The first thing we're going to do is we don't want these to be squares or rectangles rather with just these edges applied. Now if you look, if I resize this, the edges become rounder but it stays um, essentially a box. If I go to object and expand appearance, you'll notice when I try and transform it now, it really stretches the sides. That means that it's actually a rounded rectangle and not just an effect anymore. So we'll select the other two things and go to object and expand their appearance too. Now we're getting there. We have sort of uh, the top of our book, and this is going to be the bottom here. Then we're going to take our pen tool, and we're going to finish off this edge of the paper here. So the way we're going to do that is just bring your pen tool and put it anywhere around here. And then we're going to click down until we see the edge here. Um, now I have Smart Guides turned on, so that's Command U, or you can go to View and turn on smart guides and things will snap to edges and stuff it makes things really easy so right in the middle here and we'll zoom in so I give you a, a much better look at what's going on right in the middle I'll make a new anchor holding down shift clicking up over here make a new anchor and then over here I can make a new anchor pretty easy I'm going to color it yellow. And selecting them both, I'll use the Unite option. And then selecting the pink, I'll right click, arrange, and bring it to the front. Finally, I'm going to take this whole bottom section and I'm just going to shrink it a little, little bit. And what you're seeing here is the formation of the book. So this is the cover of the book, and here's sort of the bottom. You're seeing the inside of the pages. 
Um, and uh, if you're still having a hard time picturing it, it'll become more apparent soon, uh, I promise. So at this point, let's start getting things uh, in line. Let's make this a little bit more like a book. We're going to make a crease right down the side. So the way we're going to do that is just grab your line tool, make sure you have it set to actually have a color on its stroke. And I'm just going to click somewhere around the edge of the book, maybe leaving, say, an inch or so to the left. Hold down Shift and just drag it down. There it is. There's our book edge. And we're going to hit Command C and Command F so that there's two of them. Now we're going to do this. This part's real cool. We're going to select the line and then the pink rectangle, and we're going to divide them. Same thing, we're going to select the blue rectangle and the line. We're going to divide them. Finally, we're going to take this yellow here and the blue, and we're going to divide them. Now, I could have done the yellow, blue, and line all in one step, but I find this way seems to work better when you piece it out. You can take the two yellow things and unite them again, so select both pieces there and up in your pathfinder hit unite alright now we color this thing and we're about done um, and we're gonna color it all with gradients let's make this uh, a brown leather book so select everything and ungroup so nothing is touching each other then we're gonna select our top here and our bottom and let's make a brown here or we can pick it right from the palette that's great and let's drag this brown right down to the gradient palette we can grab a lighter color too drag that right into the gradient palette kind of a nice looking brown I'm going to convert some of these to RGB just because I like uh, the way that those kind of give me the color sliders uh, that I want to use. And I'm just tweaking this uh, until it gives me a little bit more what I'm looking for. I'm going to go a bit darker here, richer color book. Alright, that's good, but uh, the lighting's not right at all. So select the top and we're going to change this gradient to radial. That's a little bit better, but let's drag it with the gradient tool starting at the top and a little bit over to the right. Much better. Now the bottom, we're going to grab the linear tool, and we're going to start bottom to top. And you can see that kind of lights this up. The only thing we're going to do here is grab our darker color and make it a little bit darker so it separates from the top piece there. Then over on this side, you can select both of these and simply click on the gradient palette that will turn that into a gradient and here we're gonna go from light to even darker so instead of light here we're gonna pick almost black and there you go you see we have the left hand side of our book um, and the right hand side and it's all pretty coordinated down at the bottom here I'm going to change that gradient just a little bit. So you can see we have this uh, book. The only thing left really is our pages. So let's make this uh, a whole new gradient. You can drag yellow down. And just drag these off and make a second color here. Yellow won't actually be involved. Um, but maybe a very light uh, cream can. And then up here, this yellow. Come, we'll take and we'll make it a little bit darker. And then with the gradient tool, just give that a little tiny shadow towards the top like that. So it just kind of suggests that there's pages there. Finally, I like to take the line tool, start at one side of the book, go all the way across 
you can give that something like a black and put it up to two or three points. And then I just hold down option and I drag out a couple. Maybe we'll do one more down here, but we'll shorten it. And then with all these, we want them to be real subtle. So we're going to put them in multiply mode in transparency and bring their opacity way down to say 10%. And you can see that does that. Select everything and group it. Size it down and you see you have yourself a mini book icon in Adobe Illustrator. Now there's a lot more you can do here. You can add uh, second options um, and bring in lips and effects and the whole thing. Um, if you, we look here at another thing that I had created earlier, um, we have a more sophisticated book. And you can see when you look at it, I have a lot more lines and a couple more shadows. And I've even put a couple additional gradients just to give it some more depth. And you can see when you size it down and compare it to um, the one that we just made here, um, it has a little bit more depth to it. Uh, I chose some colors a little differently, but that's uh, for another project and another time. Uh, this is basically the way to do it, and it's the way to do it quick and easy in Adobe Illustrator. Be sure to check back at Vector Tuts Plus for all the latest video tutorials and just great learning resources for Adobe Illustrator and everything Vector. I'm Ryan Quintel. Have a great day and keep designing.